What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play with me, the Lonesome Rav. Now, guys and gals, alongside of us playing the good old Dark Chronicle, which I've now just recently started, I'm going to be playing this beautiful game alongside of it. Now, this game is Catherine. Now, if you guys and gals know nothing of this game, a lot like I don't, um, you all you really need to know is that Catherine is kind of like one of those... I hate it when these do this. No, stop it. Okay, uh, Catherine's a very story-based game. It hasn't really got too much kind of like... Uh, I know it has got lots of gameplay too. I wasn't gonna say that. It's, it's got not, not got too much kind of. Uh, it's not really an adventure game, I guess, because I mean, in comparison to what I've normally play on my channel, this is a lot very much different. So, um, yeah. So, excuse me, sir. I am currently talking. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, pretty much, um, we follow the tale of Vincent and his kind of adventures around. When I say adventures, you'll see exactly what I mean. Uh, by the way, I know pretty much nothing about this game. I only really know that there is obviously the main character Vincent. I don't really. Uh, and there's the blonde lady who is Catherine with a C, I think, and the other one's Catherine with a K. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the two. I'm not too sure, but um. The only reason I know all this is because my girlfriend loves this game, and uh, yes, yeah, so without further ado, I'm gonna probably just head on in. I guess not really too much else to say. Um, yeah, so just so you know as well, guys and gals, Dark Chronicle will continue. This is just my game alongside that, just in case any of you guys are panicking. Also, uh, prepare to learn some interesting stuff about me. This is gonna be like one of them question games where you might be like, hmm, I never knew that about the mysterious, elusive Jordan Booker. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Golden Theater, let's rock and roll. Um, Start the story from the beginning. I will start the story from the beginning, please. Hello, Catherine. Um, if you're a player who, uh, who's only interested in Catherine for the story, this is for you. Uh... I I know for a fact I definitely shouldn't go for hard. I, 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 ooh, I've, I've played some of the puzzles in this and I'm not great at them, so I'm gonna go for easy, just because I'm not that great. Is it okay to start in this moment? Yes, please. Okay. Sit back and enjoy the strange tale. I will do, thank you very much, Mr. Deep Voice Jazz Man. I like you already. Uh, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely, uh, merely players. Oh my god, I can't speak already. Shakespeare. Sky fills with glamour, a lovely story <clears throat> awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm, what a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome, hmm, depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Here we go! Let's get fucking started! So as you can already tell, there's a lot of moments in this game. Ooh. Which dialogue fields won't be able to speak too much? Here she is. I believe this is Catherine with a K. Now that little logo to the left there will be there the entire way through, just in case you wonder what it is. Where'd you go? Snap out of it! Were you even listening? Uh sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything alright? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. 
I uh, had to work early this morning. God damn it, you can recognize Troy Baker's voice from a mile away. Atlas presents... Catherine. This game is pretty damn jamming. I mean, as I said, I've only played really some of the mild parts about it. I think I played the multiplayer with my girlfriend once, but it's pretty awesome about why I just played by that. And the storyline seemed pretty cool as well, so yeah. Catherine McBride. Orlando Haddock. Jonathan Origa. Tobias Nevins. I'm trying to kind of talk over the song in the background in case it's copyrighted. <laughs> Eric Anderson. Ooh, I'm trying not to die. Boss. So it's quite cool. So basically it's kind of like a very anime kind of style game. So it's very, very kind of story driven rather than gameplay driven. I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to throw that out there and say it's more story driven than gameplay driven, but that does kind of say that. And the sheep. It is, it is very like, um, uh, imagery kind of filled, if that makes sense. I do find it funny because the people that made this game are Deep Silver. Now, Deep Silver are, are known for bloody like Dead Island and that awful, absolutely terrible, um, Right Tail Retribution game. So, I mean... Yeah. Oh, dang son. Hello. Hello, Vincent. How are you saying? Directed by Katsuno Horosho. There's some pretty jamming tunes on the background there. It's pretty good. Okay. Stage one, underground cemetery. Okay, so, um, Jesus, the music is very loud in this game. Okay, can I change that at all? Hurry up and climb. <laughs> I forgot, <laughs> I heard this guy's voice before. I think I played the intro to this before, but I, I remember this guy's voice. He's pretty cool. Who are you? Where is this place? God, I love Troy Baker's voice. Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. It's pretty damn, uh, good explanation to be fair. Stage is falling. This guy's voice is so, so like the bottom of the stage is falling. Listen to me, child. Okay, um use the directional buttons to move and Oh yeah, you guys use the arrows, Jesus, okay. Here we go, baby! Alright. Okay, so yeah, so this is pretty much the main gameplay element of the uh, game as a whole. There isn't really can't Ooh, ah. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? Press the cross button. To grab the block. Okay, so um, the block. Use the directional button. I'm trying not to talk over the guys, but pretty much they're just kind of like running through the controls. Easy difficulty. You can undo your last move by pressing. Oh, <laughs> dang son, thank you game for making it easy on myself. Use to give yourself a second chance. Okay. Uh, okay, so I, I oh, do, 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 do. okay, so I need to do this. There we are. So yes, yeah, so you can also make the blocks fall and stuff as well. So it can kind of like, uh, can I? Ah, the no, no, no. Oh, there we are. Okay, it may take me a little while to get used to the controls. I know it's going to infuriate some people as well, but yeah. We'll grant you an additional oh, dang son, nice. You see one. Make an effort to get it. It'll be worth the effort. Nice. Have I got, have I got 10 retries? Right, I got I got, holy moly, I got 13? Right, I, I got the coins. Get them coins, baby. Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult for you. I'm kind of letting this guy talk because it is kind of important what he's saying, so you kind of get the gist of the stuff later on. First, try pulling a block to make some footing. Okay, sweet. All right, I got it. Okay, do do do. I think it's there. We go. Up we go. Do do do. Beautiful. See, look at that. That's not too bad. Uh, oh, edge. So pretty much when it goes edge, it means. Jesus! The noisy! It's like, it's like the music in the background is just like, I will interrupt everything that's going on! What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. That's kind of like one of the most important things about this. Like, you can see the one to the left there. That's actually kind of holding, holding on by that one corner uh, edge there. So I, it kind of makes sense that, I mean, sorry, that's kind of explaining exactly why they're kind of hovering like that. And it's a dream world, so anything can, anything, you know. There you go, sounds good. Alright, uh, do 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 do. Okay, can I pull these ones out or can I not? 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's not good. Oh, 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 oh drop. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. Oh god, okay. Uh, I'm freaking out, boys! Okay, uh... Uh... Oh crap, did I fuck up? Uh, I fucked up, didn't I? Oh god, okay. Okay, <laughs> this is not good. Alright. Uh, oh, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't fuck up. Yes, I didn't. Okay, woo! I'm not too bad. I'm not I'm actually okay at games, kind of. Edge. Edge. You'll get used to that so... You. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn down this music in a sec. Jesus Christ, it's so intense. Use it to your advantage. They won't fall, so make stairs with them. Sounds good. Just get used to it. Alrighty. Making stairs is the core of successfully scaling a tower. Use the edges to create stairways. Thank you very much. Okay. Can I? Okay. Uh, configuration. Can I just turn down the music a touch? There's none. Okay, that's. Okay. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I should just catch it. I don't think I did anything. Uh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, I'm not too fussy. I mean, if music's loud, that's not too bad. I don't, 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 don't. So many tutorials! <laughs> Alright, come on, Vincent. We can go. Anyway, good luck. Thank you, mysterious voice man. Sounds good. So, I mean, Troy Baker's voice actor is just so, I know it's like, just kind of like the most generic voice ever and it just does, it makes it really good, but it's like, I don't know, something about it is just so like, oh, so just nice and calming, it's just so, I don't know, it's good, it's good, it's really good. I can get out through here. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is kind of as far as I got before, I'm not too sure, but it's something like this anyway. <laughs> Great escape, you survived. Yeah, woo! So yeah, so pretty much you get kind of bonus points for it, depending on how many uh, like kind of like blocks that were left. So yeah, difficulty easy. Great job, champ. You did, yeah, you did good. I got a gold price. I'll accept that. Nice. With that lovely honey bunny over there. Honey bunny. It's not like the, the guy from fucking uh, Pop Fiction. Come on, honey bunny. Oh dear. Really bad reference. Hey, the nightmares have just begun. That's, that's that's literally kind of indicating I've never got this far before, but you know. First day, Vincent's room, 8, 10 a.m. Oh, I, it took me a little while to kind of take, one, take him what he's trying to do. <laughs> I was checking he's on a penis, so I was like, what? Yeah, fuck that pillow. Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Vince is pretty cool. I gotta admit. He's, I don't know why he's got a sweet little pad. It's kind of basic, but it's quite cool at the same time. It's like, come on. I don't know. Sweet little studio kind of place. I like it. I like it. Here she is again, my lovely lady. Chrono Rabbits. 4.32pm. This overtime you're doing. Oh, we're back here, are we? Oh, okay, cool. Not this time. This time, do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything. <laughs> oh, jeez. Brutal. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... Where you're in danger? How how can you misinterpret? <laughs> oh my god, I just totally died. I usually do the killing in my dreams. Jesus. 
Oh, that sounds like you. See, imagery. Imagery is everywhere in this game. Oh, jeez. Okay, kicking off now. Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Oh man, how long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? Aww. I suppose... Poor Catherine with a K. Landing down harsh, Vincent. Landing down harsh. I like it. I forgot about this, yeah. No, I have seen some of this, maybe. I've got up to this by this point, maybe. I have not completed this game, I promise you. I have not got that far, but I've seen some of these points before. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained death. I feel like I'm just watching anime with you, you, with you guys now. I'm like, yeah, let's just watch this together. And while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not... Straight sheep, 9 p.m. Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Man, he's one edgy dude. Jesus. His voice is like, I'm gonna be sure. Oh, maybe he's the maybe he's the the Raya guy. What else could it I've known you since we were <laughs> That was that was the end of our animation budget, unfortunately. We're gonna have to just cut to the normal 3D animation, please. Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? That's what she said. <laughs> oh dear. I feel for Vincent, I have to admit. I don't know why. It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? Jesus, this is an edgy ass conversation. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul. Wait. That Paul? Not that Paul. He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he I like the old lady in the background just munching on a pizza pie. Yeah. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning. Wait, you mean Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Oh, geez, that's a... Weird thing to lay down your friends after me. I would not tell my friends about that, I have to admit. I had a really scary dream. Well, maybe I would actually. I don't know. I remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? Fight. Yeah, as I say, probably do, apparently. Know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, alright? Nah, I like the soundtrack. It's pretty cool. Stick around. I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? These are one right. cool, pretty yeah, slick looking guys after me. He's pretty sweet as well. You know, he's pretty cool. Cash guy, I like it. So I'll just come to work in my jumpsuit. That's pretty cool, I like it. Ooh. Dunna, 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 dunna. <laughs> you got mail. 
920. Stray sheep. The first day. From your phone, you can check your text messages and save. Oh, thanks. Okay, nice. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Deep Voice Man. Uh, awesome. I'm guessing that. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so this is actually a perfect time to stop because we're actually now hit the 20-minute mark. Well. Yeah, go on, I'm gonna call this first episode, why not? So, um, yeah, so guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. This has been my first episode of Catherine. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I know for it to be fair, the vast majority of this first episode is gonna be just going, ah, entire time, basically just kind of listening to all of what's going on in Catherine so far. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure, <laughs> oh, pardon me, sorry. I'm pretty sure some more, like, kind of like, actual, like, kind of gameplay elements come along, and I'll be able to do this more often as well, and, uh, you know, a bit more kind of, like, actual stuff that's gonna go on and such. But, um, yeah, so guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. I'm Lost from Alvador, and once again, you guys are beautiful as ever. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Say la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye. Watch out!